When it comes to the most unusual success stories in the history of rap music, Lil Pump is a name high on that list. He's one of the new generation of rappers that truly changed the entire industry. But despite his success, lately we've been seeing the start to the downfall of Lil Pump's career, and after some updates and events that were just revealed, his rap career could officially be ending, and we will show you why in today's video, so stay tuned. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of Lil Pump and if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 11. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch the video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! The Start of Fame Climbing the ladder of success and fame is never easy. In most cases, it takes years and years of hard work and struggle just to have a slight chance of making it, and many times that's still not enough. But that's not the case for Lil Pump. After dropping his first self-titled album, featuring rap industry's biggest names and including his hit song Gucci Gang, which skyrocketed his career to insane levels very quickly. Soon after, he dropped his song I Love It with Kanye West, which became a huge success. So much so that it became the first ever hip-hop video on YouTube to have such a tremendous global debut. It was definitely a success for Lil Pump, who was able to garner audiences' love and attention with such brilliance. But that success was short-lived, as Lil Pump tried to follow up that success with dropping singles like Esket It that in retrospect can be said could have been the end of the start of his fame. Sales Charts Take the Plunge He received instant fame when he released his ultimate rap song Gucci Gang. It has more than 750 million views on YouTube. What Pump did not see coming was that he was in for a hard plunge. With dropping chart numbers, the only thing Lil Pump had left was the loyal fans. They were with him throughout his journey of SoundCloud and while he was making it in the rap industry. And guess what? He managed to lose half of them when the singer released his newest single snippet. The snippet included Pump singing the lines, Mama told me, don't go to school on a Percocet, like Juice World, 70 pounds on the private jet. It was a direct reference to the deceased rapper Juice World, who was checked by authorities and caught carrying 70 pounds of illegal marijuana. Just after that short snippet, both fans of Juice World and Lil Pump took their outrage to Twitter and stated that it's too disrespectful, and this kid is being so stupid. Would think rappers would know by now not to disrespect influential rappers that have passed away, but I guess some just never learn. Jail Time and Bad Publicity On the verge of falling completely off the charts, the bad publicity was the only thing keeping his name alive. His singles lost sales, even with the collaboration of the biggest names in the industry. The troubled rapper's tour got cancelled due to illegal violations. The cherry on top, he ended up in jail, draining his pockets of cash. The rapper lost more than a million dollars because of his tour cancellation. Lil Pump announced he was going to jail to his followers through Instagram. He added a picture in studded gold chains, necklaces, and rings with a controversial caption. He breached his parole from an offense he was subject to in 2018. The young rapper was found with a gun that he fired in his house in Los Angeles. From then onwards, he had a parole officer on his back for months, till his probation period was over. With Lil Pump, things never go as planned, and he ends up violating his probation. In Miami, he was found with many Cooper license plates in his Rolls Royce, stewing headlines that the most troublesome rapper is going to go back to jail soon. Exchanging one addiction to another After completing his jail time and still not seeing any difference in his sales figures, Lil Pump tried to recoup his tarnished reputation with a comeback interview with Billboard. He said that he would leave Xanax for a better and healthier lifestyle. Many singers started supporting Lil Pump for his decision in the modern world of drug usage and deaths by drug overdose. Over time, the positive audience he gained was lost again. It was clear that the rapper was again developing a new drug addiction with Lean Pong and promoting it openly. The rapper faced huge backlash for this. Wherever the rapper seems to go, bad news follows. Blatant Lies for Gaining Publicity It is like the time has come where the rapper would not be rapping anytime anymore. The rapper took to Instagram on 14th of February 2020 to announce that he's finally done with the music and is retiring. Fans responded to this cry of attention by trolling the rapper. They stated that he just wants clout and that they're done listening to him. Fans caught on to the fact that he was not quitting the industry. Fans were not planning a welcome back party for Pump when they heard he was out of retirement in just a few days. Lil Pump Changing Direction So what did the singer decide to do when he was low on talent and money? He decided to change his path and his standard of living, or at least that is what Pump thought he was doing. His extra flamboyant clothing, colorful dreadlocks and branded items did not make it seem like that. However, he did make it seem like he was converting from rap to rock. Pump released a short video of him dancing to his new rock song. There's a catch, after he was accused of ripping off someone else's song. Reading the comments proved that fans were not pleased with Pump's behavior and are more starting to question his decisions. Plus, the new trend he's on of painting his nails and wearing female clothing is not helping, but to each their own. Lil Pump has never been considered a talented rapper. He was more of a catchy beat and lyrical kind of talent, 
But the truth is those kind of talents have an expiration date. And if we don't start seeing some major changes in his career, then his expiration date just might be approaching faster than expected. What do you think about this situation? Is there a chance of him rebuilding his career from the ashes of a flame that he ignited himself? Or do you think his slow, steady downfall is fully active, with no escape? Let us know down in the comments. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of Lil Pump. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.